Okay, new flashlight to play with, the Rofus MR50. It is um, really something I wanted to play with because it uses a 21700 battery. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it was Tesla and Panasonic who tried to figure out how to optimize how much power you could store in a given amount of space. And they came back and said, you know, it's just a little taller for little longer and so geometrically you can have more volume uh, for not a lot more actual physical size and the difference is you go from about 3,000 3,500 milliamp hour to uh, 5,000 so this stores significantly larger amount of power and the amount of energy uh, within uh, what is not a lot bigger space so, um, tail cap, it's just a uh, closes a circuit, uh, no switch or anything, no magnet. It's got a very stiff spring, which I like. So, once you throw it on there and you close it all the way, the flashlight tells you uh, the voltage is okay. And um, there's a, a lanyard hole there, which I guess is a bit of a um, consolation because there is no pocket clip. Um, now, the uh, one downside, if you will, of having a smart switch is that there is a parasitic draw. Uh, I measured this at uh, 0 0.3 milliamps, so after a day it's about 7 milliamp hours, which means that with a freshly charged 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you get about uh, like 700 days, so two years. Uh, before the battery will be uh, a dead. But the easy thing to do, of course, is if you unscrew that by half a turn, um, then it's locked out. You can't do that with, with all flashlights, um, but on this one, the threads are anodized, so that does allow you to do that. If, however, you just want to lock it out within your luggage or something, uh, press and hold, blinks twice, so that that is now locked out and of course just press and hold and uh, now it's back on. It also has a feature where if you press it for about three seconds then uh, you get this little blinky light so if you're in a dark room or a tent and you don't want to uh, bother people but you still want to be able to find your flashlight in the dark you can do that. User interface pretty simple. Click it to turn on then uh, hold it to cycle, so you got low, medium, and high, and you have turbo, which is uh, quite bright. One of the first things I do with any flashlight is I check it in my basement. I don't have a integrating sphere, this is a light meter, but this basically will give me a uh, lux reading, which uh, I can correlate back to the lumens claimed and let's see if I can, that's the red one right here is the MR50. So certainly for their top uh, claim of 2,500 lumens, they definitely are putting out the something in the right ballpark. So that's good. Uh, it does step down, however. That turbo, that 2,500 lumen turbo, uh, after one minute, it'll, it'll shut it down to a high of 700 lumens. But you can double click it again and, and reset it, it'll, it'll go back to uh, turbo again. I did that about three or four times. Uh, the head gets pretty warm. I would imagine at some point there probably is a thermal cutoff to stop you from doing that for too long. But um, the, um, the spacing of the lights basically, uh, low is 25 lumens, the medium is 300, the high is 1200, so that's that. Uh, it will step down from the 1200 after six minutes though so the highest lumen rating that you can get where it will really sustain it is 700 lumens for something on the order of about three hours uh, 183 minutes so um, pretty good and obviously the 5000 milliamp hour and the big battery uh, coming into play for that the um, charger on this now um, just as comparison, so here's the KR50, 
This has also got an onboard USB charger. So similar reflector size, similar diameter. Obviously the body on this is a little fatter. And um, this one has the clicky, which makes it a little bit longer. This is the Nightcore. Um, in this case, it's the MH20 GT. A uh, little bit shorter, obviously a little thinner because of the um, 18650. But um, it's, it's really in the right ballpark to be something that you can carry in a coat pocket or even a jean pocket of your jeans. Um, this charging cap I find kind of a hassle to get out. My, there you go. I have to kind of pick at it to get to it. So obviously a micro USB, but here's something really kind of slick. So they provided this little dongle, micro USB. And that's obviously a female USB. And so you can actually plug this in here and charge a phone or you know whatever you want. I happen to have a USB meter, so um, I can actually determine what the charging uh, power is. And I was able to charge a phone at about uh, 700 milliamps which is 3.4 watts based on the voltage it was putting out. That's not bad. Um, not not great. Um, you know, this charging pack allowed me to do about 4.5 watts. So 3.5 watts versus 4.5 watts. It's still a decent charge on your phone. For example, if you have any of the wireless chargers, those start around 5 watts. So... Um, this is uh, not gonna, this is no, not a fast charge, but uh, certainly gives you the ability to charge something in an emergency just by carrying this dongle. Or you can carry this dongle. This is just a female uh, to female USB adapter, and uh, just to test out whether or not there's anything fancy about this dongle, um, the short answer is that will work. There's other dongles I have uh, that uh, also uh, will allow me to charge something from the flashlight. So, so that's good. Um, in terms of the overall uh, machining quality and everything, uh, I found it very nice. This kind of black chrome. So this, this bezel right here, it's not a crenellated bezel. Um, you know, I mean, the, the shape, it's, it's kind of a soft comfortable shape that uh, is, is I guess you could say it's kind of non-threatening and this is kind of a black chromed uh, bezel here as opposed to something like the KR20 which has the very tactical look it's got the, the finger ring it's got you know the clicky with the you know, recessed tail crenellation on, on a chrome bezel so this is, this is a much more kind of tactical look uh, this is much more of the uh, the very functional um, kind of thing that you would carry around. Um, I actually uh, like the beam on this. It's much more of a, a floody beam, so I don't know if you'll be able to quite see, but the uh, hot spot on this, it's got a very big hot spot. It's about two feet in diameter, as opposed to, for example, the Rofus KR20 which uh, from here, I'm not sure you can tell, that's really a hot spot of about eight inches. It's a very tight hot spot there in the middle. And a um, couple big differences, for example, this is using the uh, XPLHID3, which is a tiny little chip. The, the LED uh, die is very small. This is the uh, XHP uh, 50.2, and the die in there is easily four times as big plus this has got the smooth reflector this has got a uh, light to medium orange peel on it so this is definitely a much floodier light but um, if I'm walking in the woods and uh, trying to look for something the hot spot on something that has a lot of throw tends to kind of make you night blind to things on the side where uh, a more floody light doesn't do that so I think for an all-around light, this is probably going to be more functional for that. Um, let's see, cover the charging, cover the charger, holster. So, interestingly enough, 
The holster they provided was the same holster that my uh, Rofus Care 20 came with. So, Velcro, um, these nylon straps in the back, I have to admit, they're not, they're not the best. I mean, they, they just don't feel that heavy. Um, you know, there's, there's a little bit of Velcro here next to the snap. But um, I would say this is one of the weaker points of uh, this flashlight is this holster. I don't think is quite as, ni as nice as the flashlight. And as you can see, the Velcro ends about here. So, um, you know, I think the, the holster perhaps is the one thing that seems not quite up to the standards of the flashlight itself. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is they do provide, in addition to extra O-rings, they do provide an extra uh, one of these little rubber caps for the charge report, which is nice. Because um, a lot of times those will wear as you dig them out, etc. So um, that's about all I can think of right now. Um, I'd say overall the, uh, the real benefit, the real nice thing about this is the ability to have all that power, all that energy um, in the flashlight that's basically the same size as uh, a lot of the 18650 battery, uh, battery flashlights. And um, if uh, you have any comments or questions, let me know. Thanks.